What's up, Savage Fam? Now, a little bit of a different episode today. I know we are excited about a ton of things that I'm doing, but today I want to talk to you guys about something. Something very serious in this influencer game and something that's not really answered in the industry. Know your worth, honey. The reason I say this is because in life, especially in this industry, you guys, there's going to be a time and place for everything. But the most important thing to always remember is your worth. And in the beginning, when I first started making content, I knew that I had to grind it out. I started out with zero followers like everybody else. And when I was going through this journey, I quickly found out that it can come with hard, hard work. And so when I was on my journey, I knew in the beginning that I wasn't a big hotshot influencer. And now I don't consider myself that. I consider myself a very, very rough and motivating type of mentor and teacher. When I get approached with a lot of things, especially when I want to do things like with companies, I know that they reach out to you and they give you this, you know, kind of idea of your worth. And just know that the only person that knows your true worth is you. For instance, my views may not reflect my true influence. However, I'm the only person that would know that and the community. So an outside looking in, you may not be able to easily recognize that. So in time, as you build your content, as you build your brand, as you build who you are and what it is that you're going to be successful at, you need to understand that there's going to be a point in time where you're going to have to question what you're doing, when you're doing it and how you're doing it. Because at some point you may or may not be faced with an ethical decision on your part. And the reason I bring this up is because through my journey, I've done my best to help as many people as I can and touch as many lives as I can. And you also have to keep in mind that you cannot help people if you do not keep your sanity and keep your worth. And this is because this industry can definitely consume you. And it is okay to take a step back, do a rebrand and know your worth and keep pushing. Because in life, The only person that will have your back the fullest is yourself. And so you need to rely on yourself in this industry, being an influencer so much, because if you don't, it can easily consume you and keep you down. And so when I'm a part of my influence here on the Clapper app, I see myself doing and saying things that didn't matter a few months ago that matter now. And you have to be careful because you just never know what your voice and power and influence can do. Knowing your worth helps guide you make in making content. For instance, I reached out to a creator. His name is Black Rose Entertainment. And I had no idea that my influence power was at the point where if you message them, they get super excited. And... But this is because I see myself completely different at that point. And so you have to take a step back and say, you know what? I love messaging people and your word means something. So if your word makes people happy, take opportunities to do that. But also keep your worth in mind, keep your sanity and keep what you're doing. This industry, as much as much fun as it is, it can consume you and keep you down like i said but if you allow it to i was faced with a lot of drama on my platform and that comes in this industry so when you're faced with drama you have to think of a way to handle it and a lot of times people think oh let me not address it that's not the industry that we're in we're not in an industry where we can keep things from our followers they see it they see it in our content they see it in you and people that love you want to know what you're going through because that is part of your content that is part of who you are and when you put your life out there for people to see see my content people get to know me and who i am i'm not just a 100 percent teacher so when you have a life type of you know platform You have to share these things with them because if you don't, they see it. And it's not you being fake. It's you being reserved. 
So stop reserving things from your followers. Tell them what's going on in your life. Tell them what you're feeling. Because at the end of the day, they will respect you more for it. This is something that I have learned. And you will love them more for doing it. So I hope this lesson today helps you guys. I'm going to do much more videos like this, probably more often than you think. So if you guys have a suggestion for me, go to queendomtv.com and go ahead and submit the submission form there. You can talk to me. You can, you know, request topics, things like that. You can hit your questions. So other than that, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and head out here, get some food and live it up. But much love from me. And I hope it hits your heart.